Hello students, my name is Shraddha Tone. I am assistant professor in computer engineering department from AISSMS IOIT. Today's our lecture is based on introduction to network layer. We are discussing some important functionality of network layer as well as different switching techniques. In that, today we will discuss circuit switching techniques. So let's move towards the what are the introductions. So basically network layer is the third layer of IS OSI model as it is above data link layer. So it receives services from data link layer and provides services to the transport layer. So providing the services to data link layer and transport layer this is the main purpose of network layer. Actually data in network layer that is called as the packet. Whatever the data comes in the network layer we call it as a packet and that packet is responsible for getting packets from the source all the way to the destinations. Data link layer is responsible for transferring frames from one end of wire to the other but network layer is responsible from routing the packets from source to destination in a different networks. So network layer provide protocol exist in every host routers and the router examines the header fields of all the IP packets that pass through it. The network layer must know about the topology of the network and select appropriate that means the best path for the packet to be delivered without overloading particular route. So we will discuss what are the basic functionality of network layer. So the first function of network layer is internetworking. So this is the main duty of network layer. It provides logical connection between different types of networks. Basically this network layer will work when there are different types of network and it provide the connection between the different types of network. Next one is the addressing. So we know that whenever we send packets from source to destinations the address we must to specify. So addressing is necessary to identify each device on the internet uniquely. The addresses used in the network layer should be able to uniquely define the connections of computer to the internet universally. Next function is routing. In a network there are multiple routes available from source to destinations and the important is that to choose one of them. So the network layer decides which route is to be taken. This is called routing and it depends on the various criteria. Next function of network layer is packetizing. The network layer receives the packet from upper layer and encapsulate them to form a new packets. This is called packetizing. A network layer protocol which we will call it as a IP internet protocol will do this job of packetizing. Next of function is fragmentations. Splitting of data packets that are too large to be transmitted on the network. So that is called the fragmentations. Means your data is too large so that data is split into the small units that is called as the packets. Now next we will discuss is the switching techniques. So the basic aim of networking is to facilitate transfer of data like text, audio, video among various devices. So switched communication network is nothing but the network in which routing of data which is transferred from source de device to destination device is implemented among several intermediate nodes. So switching is considered as the techniques with the help of these techniques which node control or switch the data to transmit it among precise point on a network. 
in huge network there is a possibility of more than one routes from source to destination and the selection of best route for data transmission is done by these switching techniques so the use of switching technique is for the purpose of connecting the systems to set one of one to one communications so we will see which are the basic types of techniques a switch network consists of series of interlinked nodes which we call it as a switches switches these are the devices which is capable of creating temporary connections between two or more devices which are linked to the switch traditionally three methods of switching have been important which shows in the diagram that is circuit switching message switching and packet switching again packet switching has two services datagram packet and virtual circuit here we are discussing the circuit switching so what is mean by circuit switching a circuit switch network consists of set of switches connected by physical link a connection between two stations is dedicated path made up of one or more links in these techniques a dedicated path is established between sender and receivers one of the senders which we want to which want to send the data to any other node so first of all it is very important to have the dedicated connections between sender and receivers once there is establishment of connections the dedicated path will exist unless and until the connection is not terminated so the most common example is the telephone network this network is the simplest and oldest circuit switch network it is possible to transfer fixed data at a time in circuit switching technology so there are three phases of communication through circuit switching first one is circuit establishment which we call it as a set of phase second one is data transfer phase and third one is circuit disconnect that is also called as tear down phase So we will discuss this technique in detail. First of all, circuit establishment. Before the two parties can communicate, a dedicated circuit, that is end-to-end -end link, needs to be established. For example, circuit switch network shown in the figure. If communication is to be between A and D, then the path A to node I. Two node two, two node three and D has to be established first. So, if this A want to send the data to D, so first of all, A will send message to the switch I. Then I will send message to switch two, and next one is three, and then three. third number of switch will inform the receiver d as a wants to communicate with u so if d send acknowledgement to node a then the path will be established between a to d via switch 1 2 and 3 once the connection has established then node a will send data to Mode D, so they either use FDM or TDM techniques. So next one is data transfer, that is called as set of phase. After the establishment of the dedicated circuit, the two parties can transfer the data. For example, information can be transferred from A to D through the network. Last phase is circuit disconnect, which is called as tear down phase. after some the connection between two user is terminated usually by the action of one or two stations so this is called as circuit switch network as we said about the efficiency of this network so in this method the resources remain dedicated 
as long as connection is alive all resources between the sender and resources sender and receivers that is reserved up, up to the connection so up to the connection is alive so due to the allocation of resources during the entire duration of connection efficiency of circuit switch network is lower next one is delayed even though the efficiency is low the delay in this type of network is very small because once the connection is established between sender and receiver so whole data we at uh, whole data node a can transfer to node b at a time so that's why here delay is very small and the last one is application mostly the circuit switch network is used in telephone network thank you next slide we will discuss about message switching and packet switching